So welcome to Bunny's Designs. Uh, this is a live show impromptu Saturday. It's about 2.30 in Saturday afternoon in the UK. Um, <clears throat> I wanted the full set of the art bars and they were difficult to find in the UK. So the, th the set of 36 gave you uh, an equal number of the, we said they came in, in, in four different types of colours. There was the the brights, the pastels, the earthy tones, and then they had some darker shadows. And that's how they've, in all the other things, Derwin have a certain set um, in their colour schemes, but this one is particularly different. So I have that set, um, and then I bought this set, <coughs> which is a 12 set. In fact, I, it was the other way around. Um, so I had the 12 set and there was um, the black and the white and I think there was the tertiary orange and I think that's the only one that was duplicated. So that gave me about 44, that gave me about 44 colours. It's a bright blue there. <coughs> and I would love one of these trays but I, because, <coughs> excuse me. So what happened is, I have my 36 tin, which, which when it arrives, arrives in a, a, a single layer. Now this is quite fat, so this is a this is a double layer tin is the best way to describe it, and this is for the Derwent pastel pencil pencils, but it's a double layer. And I keep my pencils in the Derwent art bag. So this is quite a deep tin. It's two layers. And it will have, obviously, the bottom layer, and then you have the top layer. But, oh, I shouldn't have put that in there. <coughs> but obviously, I bought this one as a 36. So the original bottom of this tin is a single layer and that bottom of the tin I have used for my single layer of Caran d'Ache. Oh bye Carol, bye Carol, thanks for stopping by. Just play with me two seconds, is it going to give me a Oh, it's not going to give me a thing, is it? It might do. Uh, so that's my single there. But obviously, I want. I've bought the set, and which came today, <coughs> of the ones that were missing. So I now have a complete set of Derwent art bars, but I do not have a tin. And because these are triangular. I actually quite like working in them here if I want to just use them with a damp brush. So what I thought I would do is use the deep tin from my Derwent set and I will, I'm going to make, <coughs> now this one is just photocopy paper because I was just playing, so I concertinaed it, folded up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And that's made little triangles to sit my little triangular things in. But I made a mistake. If you have it this way, you can't get four in. If you notice, it's just a bit too short. But if you turn it this way, you can. So I need to make some more of these. And then instead of cutting them diagonally, I need to cut them at an angle. Once I've made the concertina, and then that will fit in here, in the bottom. <coughs> and that will give me four sets of concertinas to fit in the bottom layer. And then I'd made this, and it's, it's only pulled off the top, it's fine, I can just stick it in there. It's only stuck with a bit of sticky tape. And it doesn't go all the way in, it's a bit proud. It's just a little bit proud. And then I also put the lid on. So although it says art bars, this is my tin from my 36. Fits fits 
all tins fit the lids. They all fit together, whether it's a fat tin or if it's a thin tin. So that means I can get my 36 tin lid and my, 30, uh, my 72 art bars <laughs> if I think to went pastel tin. And in theory, I've got them all together. That's what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, and the other thing I do is I just put a little bit of a tissue and it happened to be just what I had handy and it will protect them. So if I just do this temp, I have three of these. And I did cut, it's only, it's only a very cheap print of paper that I've recycled. Um, but it's given me, it's given me three, uh, there should be another one somewhere, it's come out. And so basically I can put all my pencils at the bottom layer and then sit the top layer on as well. Did that make complete sense? <laughs> So, <clears throat> if we look at this one here, um, and I've been quite a sad girl, I've put them all in order, because 27, 28, 29, that's 30, uh, 31, 32, that's 33, and this one is the green one, which Sooty was quite nice when he broke this one. I don't know where it went now. <coughs> So I'm quite pleased that I've used, I've got, I had lots of tins and I didn't want to carry things around in tins. These will probably stay in tins though, because they sit quite nicely. Um, I was having a look at, there is a, a carry bag that you can buy. Um, and so I may have to have a look at that. So that one's uh, 33 and 34, 35 and 36. 36, um, so 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 44 is about there. Now I don't have, an, I'm just putting the 60s over here. And I do have two extra oranges, so that's an extra orange, so I'm going to shove that up there because that's number four. But as you see, I'm missing the first one here. Yes, I'm going to do it with cardstock. Thank you, thank you, Kenny. Yeah, I'm going to do it with cardstock because that will give me um, that will give me just that bit more stability. But the other thought I had is I may just have a look on the internet to see if I could find. And again, what this should do is, if you look on the tin. you find brights, pales, earths and darks. So if you have the 72, and that's for the, obviously the 36. So in theory, I should have a set of brights, a set of pastels, a set of earths and a set of darks. But I've got 72 now, apart from two. So I've got the full set. So I want two layers. So I have two layers of brights, and two layers of pastels, which I have. If you look at those, there's only two missing, but that's 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 in the 36 set. And if we look at the bottom set, um, I should have. In fact, if I'm very clever, I might actually get them all on there. No, they just won't go. So I'm going to have to do them in threes. And um, that's 50. That's 51. 64s about there. 41, number 11. So I'm trying to put them in order if I can. 46. And that should give me my earthy tones and my darks. So 37 is the first one. So that's the one that's going to go right down here. That's the honeycomb. Because as I say, it's nice to use them just by, without getting them out. You can just you could just take a, a small brush and touch so you don't even have to get them out um, 
unless I'm looking if to find one of these trays on eBay. If somebody's used all the parcels up, they may have these trays. So that's the other way of doing it. Uh, So we've got 38, and again you can see these are going to be the earthy tones. And uh, I've put two whites, I've put them at the top. And I'll probably put the black at the top as well, because it's a very different colour. And the other ones are very similar, that, oh, that's black. So I'm going to put black and white at the top out of the way. And I do have two blacks. See, burnt umber is very similar. Um, so that's what I hopefully want to do and 56 will go up up there and that's 46 and I think this one goes in this one that's number 10 So I like to put them back in their little set because it just makes things a little bit easier. Eventually you get used to where things go. That's 39. You don't have to do this. You can put them in whatever particular... Oh, that's the black one, which is 67, but I'm actually keeping it out of the way, that one. really want that one out of the way. <coughs> that one's a 62, and we have a 52, which goes in between there. So, let's have a look and see. So, I paid on eBay a pound for these. So that was quite good, but they only had the, the set of 36. I, I tell a lie, they had the odd ones. So I've got Violet Earth and Popcorn. Oh, I have got Popcorn. I have got Popcorn. So I've got a 42, which is Violet Earth, and Popcorn is 34. So as you can see, that's going to go into there as a pastel colour. And they've just kind of popped them in a little bit of foam. I could buy some of this foam board and, 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 and bend it, I suppose. I'll have to see. It depends on, on, on how much I use. So taped on the back of here. And... Uh, taped on the back of here should be and it doesn't look as big as mine so I'm hoping it's going to be as good I think it's going to have to be a as that and it's not the one that I wanted because I've got this one and it's useless and it was eight pounds so not impressed with that because it's been used it's dirty not even bothered to clean it and um, <laughs> I've actually got that one Two dirty ones, two dirty ones that are completely useless. So I'm going to send those back because they're dirty. Not having that. <laughs> that would be good. That would be. So that was a bit of a disaster. 
Oh, and these are open as well. Oh, well, I'm not impressed with that either. But never mind. Um, they had these at the re range and there were a penny more. So if I'd have, if I'd have known that, mind you, I didn't, I was going to the range. Um, I think these are three pounds and they were open. So I'm not going to be happy with that either. So let me have a look. So, But these are the babies that I wanted. Um, now, they will be... They, they, I didn't expect them to be in pristine condition because... If they are sold loose, then people are going to be picking them up and putting them down. But I didn't expect those to be dirty. So, uh, we will see. That's why I don't like buying things, even from art shops. <clears throat> this is from an art shop, Pillings. This came from Pillings, this, I think. And it's the first time I've used them, so we'll have to see. I mean, they all look okay. They're a bit bashed. Two of them are a little bit bashed. Um, they didn't come from... But I'm, I'm annoyed the other things are open, so I shall be ringing them up about that. Um, I suppose I'd better tick the colours off. So hopefully I should have the full set. I better tick the colours off. If they're going to send me things like that, I better tick them. I mean, even if it was a shop, they could have cleaned them before they sent them. <laughs> so I'm going to put those back in the box because uh, that was a bit naughty to do that. This is why I really don't like... I mean, I don't mind buying things second-hand from eBay because that's what you expect, and that's fine. You just clean it, but when it's a shop, you expect it to come clean and new when it says new. So, bit cross, but that's given me. Uh, see, there's a bit of a deep. Now, this is a little bit proud. Let's see, a lot proud if it's that way, isn't it? I can't find my bit of cello tape. Cannot find my cello tape. Just make shift stick that in there. It's only I put the cardboard as well. I I cut some more cardboard and and drew round this so this is a lot sturdier and it's made it very proud because obviously it's quite it's corrugated cardboard and it's just a smidgen proud but the lid does go on. The lid goes on. that it goes on perfectly okay and then I have two elastic bands to go around the edges so I have now so I can change that to 36 and of course I haven't got my sticky labels near <laughs> so I can change that to 36 um, so that's quite nice and then I was in Winston Newton. I've been looking. I've, what I've been looking for is I've seen one of these that did 33 pallets because this is a bit too ugh for me. And of course, I can't tip it up. And I, so these are all my um, gouache. Oh, my daughter's gouache as well. So I thought, do you know, I'm not really that ha happy with that. So this is what happens to your gouache when you leave it in a stay wet and this is exactly the same time if you leave it to dry so it will crack but you can reconstitute it so I did that at exactly the same time once in a stay wet palette I think it was last week or the week before so it takes about a week for it to dry they could, you could tip this up but of course now they will contaminate they'll drop because the, they've gone bitty I think it was this one. Oh, it's stuck back down again now. Sometimes if you, when you re-wet them, they stick. I think this is loose. Look, that's loose. So, I thought, oh, well, so now I've got two. I've got one like this, and I've now got one like this. But these people make a 33, and I thought, yes, yes, I want 33 pallets with a lid in a stay wet. And at the beginning of the year, I am ashamed to say, I did a giveaway. And in the giveaway was just the little 
plastic photo book um, which is what I made this out of and I found a little plastic wallet zippy wallet to go in as well I think it's behind me actually yep they're here this is the little wallet that I found and this is the little palette and I thought oh that would be really good as a giveaway and then when I came to send them and I thought oh my goodness people have seen this and they're gonna get this um, and I wanted to put a little bit of color in but I couldn't do any any squares because my hands hurt so I thought oh I know what I'll do I'll just put them this set in and at least the, there's quite a lot of color here so I've been looking for another set because I have this set which I find difficult to use and I can't get the little water brush out it's impossible for me to get that out and I bought these for my daughter and I thought I'll find um, and what happens is when I cut the tops off you see you end up with a few millimeters of each one these are the bits that are left from from mine so I thought, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll get some pans. And there was a 24 set. And I thought, I'll get some pans. And, and I'll slice them up. And I'll put them in here. And then I can post them off. And that was six months ago. And I haven't really been anywhere. And I haven't seen anything that was enough colour. So when I went to the work, uh, sorry, the range... They had this Alfie. Oh no, Alfie! Alfie, sorry, Alfie's playing in. Alfie's playing with his his new ball in my set of new supplies that have just arrived. <laughs> there we go. So this is his new ball. It's all squidgy. He can just about get his mouth around that. It's huge, but he's got a big mouth dirty fingers now sorry about that it's a bit of an alfie cam so i found this now i was looking for one of these and there were 20 some pounds there were 15 if you got them from korea but the three week wait if i wanted one tomorrow or this week there wasn't that 33 pounds so when you opened it up you have 33 pounds here and i thought yes that's the one I want. But I went to the range. And I'll show you the size difference. Which is practically no difference at all. Now, the way I do watercolour. these the And by the way, these are Cotman. These are studio. But I still love them. But what this has given me... And yes, I would love to keep these and put them all like that and just use them. You would just have this with a water brush. And you can use it on every single colour book you had. How many colours have we got there? <clears throat> but of course, what I can do with these, and I'm hoping I can, because it does say pan. Oopsie, my hands don't work very well. So what we can do is I can open one of these up. And I have I had four ladies that won for the giveaway. So I can cut this pan into four. That leaves me a pan to sit here and fill with my gouache. And these were twenty eight pounds for forty four colours. And you've got somewhere to put the brush as well. Now, I probably will use that brush in there. So you've got 44 colours for £28. And you've still got your palettes. And they're all the, the right way up. So if you tip it up, it's going to contaminate. The, it's not going to run when, once they're dry. And they're going to be in pans. So they're going to sit in there and dry in there. So that means 
um, and I, I was really impressed. In fact, it's my wedding anniversary on Monday, and I thought, oh, I should have bought two. <laughs> I just couldn't afford it. But I thought that would be fab. There are 28 colours, and these would be perfect for water colouring, because remember what we said about the least amount of water. So a little bottle of water here. You've got one for cleaning your brush, and then you've got one just to touch the colour. So as long as you made sure you cleaned the brush, you can recon you can constitute ease all these colours, and that would be fab for your watercolours. So I am such a happy girl because that means I can now, although it's going to take me a long time to cut 44, uh, but I will do a video on it because you must use pl uh, use tweezers, otherwise you will slice the ends of your fingers off. And the other good thing is, because these are brand new, they'll pop out because they're brand new. They're dry. And and you although you think I'm a bit of a skin flint, if I put a line there and a line there, there's about three millimeters of colour two or three millimetres of colour. And you don't think that's very much, but it is, if you have it in a little thin colour book. So even though I've only got, I can only get 44 little pads in here, obviously every page is a palette as long as you clean it and dry it first. So somebody's got potentially hundreds of colour. There isn't a colour on the planet you can't make with those. So I can send these off to the winners and say, there you go, that's a good that's a good little thing to, to have. Whereas when they just get this, they think, well, I could have gone to the, the pound shop and bought one of these. Um, so I thought that's kind of, that's that's really what I wanted to do for the giveaway. And then paintbrush in there and a little thing of water. So you've got thousands of colours in that little thing. And of course, they've got pages to add to them. But I know a couple of the ladies said they didn't have any colours. So they didn't have the Derwent pencils. And I, as I say, I just felt so guilty that this does not look like this. So now I can do that and the ladies will get, I, although it's a few months late. Uh, so I really like that. And I very impressed with 28 pounds with 44 colours that once these colours have been used you just squidge a bit of tube in there and if you only have a few colours like I'm going to show you how to do it I do not have 44 um, I don't have 44 colours but what I'm going to do is keep all these and I can make all those colours in these by mixing my colours. So, and I think if you squish them up, I think you can get another one in as well. So I can get 47 in. Because if you push that one up, you get another one in. So there's, um, hang on, there's, there's two, four, 45, 46, 46, there's 40. So I get 48 colours in there. Oh, hi Jane, welcome to Bunny's Designs. Anybody else popping in? So that I was really impressed with that. That kind of got me out of a pickle that I was really upset about because I, you know, it's an awful thing to do a giveaway and then not send it off. So I was really upset about that. But I really, in my heart, could not just send this off because somebody just getting that through the post would have been a bit like, okay, then that's very exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Even though technically it is, but it isn't. So now I can put 44 colours in. I can make this, I mean, again, there's not much colour, but there's enough for somebody to get going and think, oh, yes, I've got this. I can just pick up a brush and I can start to colour. And that's what I wanted this to be, and um, it, it now is. But that leaves me with a £30. It's not a stay wet, but I don't want my gouache to stay wet anyway because my gouache, I want it to be like that so that when it's dried, I can tip this up and put it in my bag. But I now have... 
I now have enough space to put 48 and I've got three spare pans as well. So I can make myself 48 colours in gouache and 48 colours for a colour book is about enough, I think. <laughs> so I'm such a happy girl that I found that. And again, the um, that was from the range in the UK. And it's the Winsor Newton Cotman half pan 45 set. And if you look it up, it's I think the cheapest one's 30. Uh, I think it's 30. So it's 30 pounds for 48 colours. They are student grade, but they are still extremely good. They are very, very good and perfect for colour books and perfect for starting out on watercolour. Um, so I was really impressed and I've always been impressed with the uh, the, the Winsor Newton st student grade. Very, very impressed. And for that price, that's a really good starter set or present. And, and I, I know if you say £28 quickly, it's okay, but you know, it, it is okay. So I'm a really happy girl because that was playing on my mind for a long time. They also had, which I stole some of my daughters, and these are the kind of the little bit runnier those. These are uh, the Reeves gouache, and they were ten pounds, and there's twenty four colours. And I wouldn't have normally bought them, but as I say, I'd stolen a lot of my daughters, so I've got twenty four colours. And I can mix I can mix each one to make up my colours in the other set. So I've t I'm going to put 50 colours in the other set. And then I'll probably use about a fifth of these. And then she's got 28 more colours to so back to uni. And they were 9 99 And again, I didn't think that was bad. Um, there's, there's, there's the yellows, um, oranges, reds, pinky reds purples, purpley blues, some greens in there, some ready earthy tones and some blacks. So I thought that was a really good set. I also bought because <clears throat> I had two tubes of everything but not Cerulean Blue for my Windsor and Newton Artisan. So I bought those two so that because I knew I, ha I needed some of those. There's blending stumps, which were a pound, and I thought that was a good price as well. Now, when I'm going to use this mixing, it's uh, always easy, even watercolour, to mix with a palette knife. And these were reduced to 2 99 so I thought that was quite diddy. And if you have a flat one, it's quite good. But this one is really nice, because you need to kind of really, when you're using um, stand oil and things, you kind of really have to get everything mixed. So I thought that would be quite nice as well. And then, just because I had to, they also had, which was a couple of pounds cheaper than I paid, they had the Windsor & Newton designer gouache, but they didn't have a Cerulean blue, which I like. Um, the flame red was very similar to the cad red and a lemon yellow, because their yellow wasn't quite as bright as I like. Um, and I had two pinky reds in the series and remember what I said about having a warm and a cold blue. So that now has made up that my professional set is very, very good. And that's the end of my my new supplies <laughs> for this week. And uh, as I say, it is my, my wedding anniversary. <laughs> it's my wedding anniversary. Um, but I've got professional watercolours, so I will not be buying the the Derwent, uh, the water, Winsor and Newton set for me. But um, as I said, I, because I've I've got some, and I like to mix my own colours as well. In which case, I am going to do that. But I just thought that was my perfect solution for finding this one. Um, so everybody gets the paints and the colours, and I get, and I get the palette. And that's the end of uh, of the mini haul <laughs> with my uh, with my hopefully correct number. So I'm a bit, bit disappointed with these. They will be I will be I will be emailing them in a moment. I'm going to tick these colours off and see if they are correct. That's 
the end of my 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 <laughs> another mini haul about supplies. Thanks for watching.